Composition of functions you might call the fifth operation with two functions, but it's really different from the other four. Composition of functions works like this. Now you know that a function, right, has an input and an output. So you might think to yourself, hmm, this is the set of possible inputs called the domain. This is the outputs called the range. There's the function f. If I work a certain amount of time, I get a certain amount of money, okay? But with normal, with the basic four operations, you have one input that goes into both functions. So time would go into both functions. With function composition, what we have is we have time going into money, and then maybe money going into whatever you want to buy. So uh, maybe we have money purchasing a certain number of Hot Wheels because everybody knows deep down you really want to spend all your money on Hot Wheels, right? So what do we have there? We have an input that goes to an output, but money is really an input. Most of your money doesn't just stay money, it's an input to get out something else. Uh, so here's how that works. If we had a G there, uh, we have to start with our x, we have f of x, f of x would live here, and then we have g that takes the output f of x as its input. So this gets written g little circle of x, and that is the composition of two functions. Now, I can't resist a little parenthetical note here. Notice that drawing it this way has g of f. It doesn't have f of g. And the reason is, actually, much of mathematics comes from Arabic, right? We don't use Roman numerals, thankfully, to do math, right? Uh, but <laughs> if you had m, i, c, plus, or, or worse, times, times, uh, x, x, i, v. Good luck doing Roman numeral multiplication. That's hard. We use Arabic numerals. Now, bear in mind that Arabic is written right to left, right? So if you are going to add these numbers, where do you have to start? You have to start at the right, you have to go left. Why? Because Arabic's written right to left. Uh, now, we have this habit because we're in a Latin-based writing system going right to left. Notice if you've done this diagram the other direction, though. If you'd have done that diagram the other direction, you would have started with time over here. You'd have money here, and you'd have Hot Wheels over here. Notice that then your arrows would go this direction. So maybe this is F. That's G to pair at this. X starts there. Notice how that is perfectly in line with this. This is G of F of X. So it's in line if you draw your diagram actually from the right to the left. Uh, just sort of a, an interesting historical note. What's important for you to remember is G of F of X equals G of the quantity F of X. So, Let's look at an example. Let's imagine f of x is 3x squared plus 2, and g of x is negative 4x plus x squared. Okay? Well, what's f composed of g of x? Well, by definition, it's f of g of x. But what is g of x? Can you see by definition that's f of negative 4x plus x squared? Now, if I just showed you this, you'd be able to plug that as the input here. So, frankly, I often don't write those middle steps. I simply say this is the input, goes in here, so I get 3 negative 4x plus x squared plus 2. So you can see how that works. Okay, so that's how you do it with a variable. You could also do the same thing with a number. So uh, 
let's do f composed with g of 1. Okay, f composed with g is f of g of 1. So what's that mean? We calculate what g of 1 is. Well, g of 1 is negative 4 plus 1, so that's negative 3. And since g of 1 is equal to negative 3, we're left with what is f of negative 3? Well, plug in negative 3 here, and you might want to do this calculation out by yourself, but that's negative 20, positive 27 plus 2, which is 29. Okay. One last example. Notice this order is not set in stone. If I wrote g of f of x, this has an interesting feature. The input function is f of x now, right? You could, if you wanted to, you could write this again. You don't have to. This is the input. It goes in for every input here. So that's negative 4, whatever the input is, plus whatever the input is squared. So that's negative 4, quantity 3x squared plus 2, plus 3x squared plus 2. I'll go ahead and leave the antenatal, though you could distribute that if you really wanted to. Thank you.